Hello everyone and welcome to another custom figure showcase. So today um, I am going to be showing off um, one of my earlier customs that I uh, did quite a while ago. Um, it's been on my desk for a while, I've given it a couple of repaints. Um, and it is my uh, materialising Necros Dalek. Now um, originally it was supposed to be a uh, materialising Remembrance Dalek but unfortunately it had um, the smaller slats on it. Um, now, you know, I'm not one for being big on accuracy and things like that, but it just didn't look right to me. So, um, I decided to give it a bit more detail and I gave it the sort of elements of, of the black colour scheme in there as well. And it just meant that I could, it stood out a bit more and that I could, you know, it really looked um, very good. So, originally, this is a anti-lightwave um, clear Dalek uh, from the third Doctor box set that's uh, had the paint uh, removed off it and then all I've done is literally just add some white paint uh, with some of the Necros colour scheme and a bit of um, uh, a bit of uh, glitter uh, silver glitter paint over the top just to give it a sort of uh, metallic materialising feel so obviously things like you know I wanted the uh, eye stalk um, the end of the arm stalk uh, a little bit of the gun stick but mainly just sort of areas of the body um to sort of have you know materialization color and then a bit on the on the back of the head as well um you know i just thought i looked at it and i thought it would be a really great thing to do um because you know i've got i've got uh, essentially three of these i've got one that's uh, on my desk in the corner that uh, most people will have seen um, in most of my videos. I've got another one as part of my um, holographic uh, collection of uh, figures. So then, you know, when I got this one spare, this one is actually funny enough, um, I was clearing out some boxes and I, I found it in, in the box, uh, in, in a box, random box. I would had no idea that I'd ordered it. Um, so uh, I decided to, uh, to turn it into this. Originally, um, I think it's glued in place now. Yes, it is. But basically, originally, I don't know how you how well you can see this, but that part there is cut, and it's cut on the other side. And it was actually um, I fitted a uh, mutant reveal inside, so essentially you had actually did have the Dalek in there um, because it was originally going to be uh, something rather akin to like the one on my desk. It was going to be the sort of um, um, What's the word I'm looking for? Revelation, <laughs> revelation of the Daleks. Uh, you know the proper glass Dalek with all the pinky insidey stuff. But it just sort of never, it never really worked um, as an idea. So um, I decided to do this with it, where you know it was the same sort of idea from the story. It was it, this is a sort of mix between the materializing Dalek scene in Remembrance of the Daleks, but with the uh, revelation of the Daleks color scheme. So it's sort of you know a half teleported. Uh, revelation darling but you know it was something that just sort of stood out really well as an idea and I really liked I really liked the look of it and it was just something a bit different you know I had this lying around spare and it's one of the ones that I'm you know I'm really proud of the way it's come out and it's come out it's come out much better than I ever thought it was going to and you know I can you can display it in various ways you know I can have it here so I've got you know most of the clear side of it you know appears with a little bit or you can have it that way around so most of it is materialized with bits bits and pieces and you know it, it's it's a really good custom to do if you've got if you have got one of these Dalek spare um, it's just uh, just used um, acetone free nail varnish remover um, don't use paint remover or anything like that because it will it will warp and destroy the plastic I, uh, I did some test pieces and, and and despite quite a few people saying oh yeah you can remove the paint from this from this Dalek uh, really easily with just some you know some paint remover don't it doesn't work I don't know what those people are using but it's not you know standard paint remover uh, acetone free it has to make sure it's acetone free because again acetone will destroy the plastic but it is acetone free nail varnish remover you can get it in any um, boots or pharmacy store anywhere that sells women's makeup is most likely to have it I'm sure that there are some guys out there that are gonna go oh, I don't want to go into places with women's makeup and things like that it trust me it's it's worth it because you can really do some amazing things with it. and it doesn't just work on this as well it works on most a lot of other figures uh, if you want to strip paint off things um, particularly figures and things like that it you know it really works you have to put a bit of elbow, elbow grease into it but it really you know it really does work and you can you know you can really get the paint off if you're if you're looking to repaint your figures 
Um, but this is one that uh, I wanted to show off you to you all. So as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, favorite, subscribe, share. It really helps me out a lot. And I shall see you all with another video very soon.